These are 20 mystery decks of cards, and I just paid $10 for every individual one of these. And the only catch is, the value of the deck of cards might be higher or lower than $10. So let's see if we can make some profit. Now paying $10 for a deck of cards that I don't even know the value of, is a little risky. But again, this is YouTube and everything I do on this channel is risky, so make sure to subscribe already. But let's start unpacking. My first thought to this is, what the hell is this? I mean, of course it's gonna be a mini deck of cards, but let's be real. Is it really gonna be over $10? Let's go ahead and see. So I would start off with the mini one. Anyways, let's go ahead and unwrap this. Okay, so it's just wrapped like a gift. Okay, there's more tape. Let's unwrap this. And it is a mini bicycle rider back. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, on the right side, you will see how much profit I make every single one of them. So first one is this. Let's move to the next one. Let's move on to this one right here. I don't know, it inspires me quite a lot. So let's go ahead and see what the cards we got here. Oh, okay, so I think these are called the the still. No, they're not the stills. Anyway, they, I'll put the name of the, on the screen and how much these cost. Be natural, what I mean by this is be yourself. Okay, these were probably um, named after Divernon, of course, since it says Divernon, it's just, he's like the godfather of magic. Let's move on to the next one. I know I'm not taking too long to show every single deck of cards, but again, there is 20 of them, so if I take too long, the video will be infinite. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, Papilios. I think I have a couple of these cards and they're worth like around 10 bucks. So that's pretty good. Next up, this one right here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm actually, it, it's actually pretty cool. To, like, it's pretty exciting to just open cards that you don't know what they are, even though I did just pay $200 for every single one of these. But well, for all of them together, not every single one. But let's see. Bicycles Black Ghost. Okay, so. Okay, so they left a price under this, and this, oh, pounds. Okay, so this must be like an English factory that makes either all of these mystery decks or something. Six pounds, seven pounds. So that, I'm pretty sure that's around like $10, so we just got our money back. But anyway, these are pretty cool cards. I've seen them already. Something I didn't think of is what if we get doubles? I actually do hope we do not get doubles. So let's open it up. Okay, okay, the price is on this as well. It says Cedar Fair six dollars and ninety nine cents. So we definitely know we didn't make our money back. But they are Gold Striker, California, and Great America. Okay, I'm just gonna look these up really quickly because I know nothing about them. So I just did some research, and even though you would pay seven dollars for these, they are much more valuable because Gold Striker was a uh, amusement park in America and um, it closed down so you can't find these decks of cards anymore so i'm definitely gonna keep this one sealed next up i would go with one of the bottom ones let's go they are very well wrapped they, they are hand wrapped i can see that they're not wrapped by a machine so whoever's doing this thank you let's go let's go let's see i'm at uh, i'm hoping for like some pretty expensive cards okay Being, okay there's another one of the die vernon ones so it's oh hopefully we get the whole collection in this uh, i did read about that you could get an entire collection or multiple collections in the um, cards that you buy so hopefully this is the second of many next up i want to go with this corner one really badly let's open this up just like so let's see let's see let's see cardistries okay so I don't do cardistry, so I don't know the value of these. But again, it's on top of the screen right now. But they look really cool. They look really like um, Picasso-y kind of thing, you know? Next up is this one right here. Now, it is kind of hard to break through the tape. But again, we have to do it for the video. All right, let's unwrap this. Now, oh, oh, oh my God, these are sick. The Beatles playing cards. That is so sick. So I get, I got the blue version. I've already seen these before. There is a pink, orange, yellow, green, and blue, if I am not wrong. These are sick. Okay, these are definitely worth over $10, I hope. Next up, this one right here. Let's go ahead and break this paper so we see what's inside. Now, I really do hope to get like full collections of cards since again you know i have like 700 decks of cards i am a really big collector so yeah i do like this kind of stuff okay so these are just normal bicycles they do this in a lot of do these kind of cards in a lot of colors 
they do these in like yellow black orange silver gold pink every kind of color and these are the brown ones these are actually quite nice they look quite elegant one day i might do like a video with these or something but yeah pretty cool only thing about the last cards i know for a fact they're not worth over ten dollars they're worth like six dollars or something like that but anyway hopefully we make a profit back with all, all of the rest of the cards oh no we got our first double okay so we got our first they are yeah it is a double so first double of these so yeah if you stay tuned i might do a giveaway with this at the end of the video okay so they are finishing quite quickly but again there is going to be another episode after this uh so yeah hope that's gonna be the last one i know you are asking for these but that is going to be the last one because i have a lot of more like cooler content that i'm going to publish so let's go ahead and see what this one is okay this is another cardistry it says cardistry spannings i have the red ones of these uh, okay so they are they're pretty rare i guess um 1617 out of uh 5000 that's that's pretty cool and yeah they look they look pretty cool honestly i'm not even gonna lie to you so i don't know if they're worth over 10 dollars i don't remember i bought these like a like five years ago or some the red version at least so, so let's move on to some of the cards that are buried underneath gold striker papilios and ghost backs so let's see i don't even know which one to pick there is actually quite a uh let's go with um let's go with these ones i don't know they look more appealing to me so we open this it, it actually does feel like christmas like i'm not even joking even though i did buy it pretty much if i bought i print it, it is pretty much like an early christmas gift but anyway okay so these are the black oh the box is a little damaged here but it's fine um bicycle legacy edition black tigers so i'm pretty sure these are like editions that went out that released pretty close to each other i know this for okay so this definitely comes from the same company as this i don't know who's doing these cards but yeah uh six pounds 99 so again we made our money back pretty much and they look pretty sick now let's move on to these ones and honestly the die burning cards i have seen them before and i actually do hope that i get like all of the other cards because that is a pretty pretty cool collection to have oh more beetles more beetles okay so we got the blue version and we have the what is this like is this like green or is this like yellow i don't know it's kind of a fluo color kind of thing you know but anyways that's pretty cool i definitely like these more than the blue ones i don't know they're just more they're just brighter they're just better so yeah we definitely made our money back with these as well let's go ahead and grab these one okay so they feel a little bit smaller in diameter if you see this the diameter is a bit smaller than an average deck of cards so yeah that maybe it's a bridge deck of cards in case you don't know what bridge size is it's just for people to have smaller hands to do magic or to um, just play casino styles and stuff uh they do make them small okay no that's not a bridge size. well it is a bridge size just this is like one of them really bad cards that you would the definitely whoever made this definitely paid like 99 cents for this at the 99 cent store but yeah let's move on to the next one because that's definitely that's not even worth over a dollar next up this one i am going pretty fast but again i do have a lot more videos to film and let's see okay the beat i actually kind of have a feeling i'm gonna get more of the beatles ones i mean i kind of hope because they are pretty cool actually the pink ones i've seen the pink ones and they are pretty cool so let's see what we get here oh hand shields hand shields these are the v2s i have the v1s of these uh yeah these are the v2s they are a really elegant deck of cards uh limited edition i remember yeah one out of 2500 so that is pretty rare when you think about it and um yeah let's move on to the next one i'm gonna go with the bottom one of this row and let's by the way if you are liking these kind of videos i mean i know you just like these unboxing videos about the mystery cards because you asked me to do the second episode since you like the first one so much so i just like these but are you liking the video so far and definitely remember to subscribe because there is a pretty big goal going on right now i'm trying to get to 1000 subscribers so if you aren't subscribed yet definitely subscribe okay neon lines never seen these before but they look really cool at least they're not like a 99 cent store like a card nothing wrong with them quality wise yes because i mean they do say plastic coated and to do magic it's not very cool but again i'll keep them it's not like i'm gonna throw them away are these limited edition not from the look of it number 15 so i'm assuming there's like 15 editions of these cards That's actually a lot of editions but they look pretty cool i'm not even gonna lie and we are going to move on to the next one just like this i'm not even gonna cut the video we are just gonna go straight on to it 
they do they feel like the beatles they feel like the beatles cards i don't know i can feel like the bumps on okay no they're not beatles Ooh, aristocrats i have not seen a deck of a what oh my god these are one of the old like really really old ones see there is a hole at the back of it there's a hole of course there is plastic over it there is a hole at the back of it and uh, these are cards they would use in the casino there's holes there and it would be like it, you would write where like the game you played the table you played the time and the date and then these would get you know like holes on the sides and they would get thrown away so then other people couldn't cheat and, and there's a blue seal blue seals in case you don't know in, in playing card collectors it's usually uh, more valuable than for example a classic black seal so these are worth like 20 bucks more than um an average deck of aristocrats for example so we definitely made our money back with these last three let's go ahead and see what we get okay so if these last three are all the beatles cards we completed the collection otherwise we did okay yeah so uh these are really cool i am happy i do like this kind of collection kind of thing so as i've told you there is multiple colors of these brown ones and so far we have the brown ones and the yellow ones not a big fan of the yellow ones because you can't really see when you look at the brown ones you can see a lot of the details when you look at the yellow one it's harder to see but again pretty cool looking cards and i definitely know these are not ten dollars so definitely didn't make a profit or maybe they are now i don't know the last time i bought some of these were like two years ago so last two decks of cards i mean i do have quite a lot of variety deck of cards the one i'm the most happy i'm not like the happiest with is these ones because they i mean they are just impossible to find now since the theme park is closed and it was the only place you could have bought them so i'm really stoked about these let's open this one second last one let's see let's go ahead and see this okay this is not opening hopefully it's a good sign or maybe it's a bad sign that it's saying like no don't open me i'm that bad okay so let's just i'm just gonna rip it open because Oh, another one of the Beatles cards. That's pretty cool. So we definitely can't finish the collection because I don't know if there's five or four of these cards. But oh no, it's like this. No, I don't know. I'm kind of confused. So, so I'm not even going to say anything. But I don't know if there's four or five. I mean, there is four. I don't. I don't know. I'm not going to say how many Beatles there are because I probably don't even know that. So I'm probably just going to get hated on. But uh, yeah, very very cool. I like the pink ones a lot. I like them a lot. So far the yellowy ones or greeny ones are the best looking ones so far but there are the three beetles hopefully we get another beetles one here but i wouldn't count on it hopefully we do but it's probably gonna be pretty rare to find another one like in a row so let's go ahead and see let's go Ooh, card is street okay so we already got so we yeah, we did get quite a bit of um not doubles, but you know, like two from the same collection, three for the same collection and stuff. So that is pretty cool. I do like these more because, um, I don't know, these are just a lot more abstract. Um, a mix of color that I don't like particularly, but these ones are pretty cool. They're simple. They almost remind you of the colors of the um, virtuoso, virtuosos. But. So that is how we are going to end episode number two of the mystery decks of cards. We are going to end the video just like we started with the big pile, the big mountain, the big pyramid of decks of cards that are not mystery anymore because now... I know the looks of them, I don't know the, the value of them, but use on screen, we'll definitely see how much profit I've made out of all of these. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up, comment down below if you want an episode three, and remember to subscribe. We're trying to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of summer. So, thank you so much for watching. My name is Otiradini. Peace out.